Oh, YouTube thought today we'd do a quick video in my Zello chat. Um, a gentleman's having a little bit of issue with his duplexer. So I want him to take it apart to see if there's something maybe damaged internally. So I'm going to show you how to take this particular model duplexer apart. The model number is SGQ-450D. Uh, you're going to need a element tool. This is a 3 millimeter, And there is an ass load of screws. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, the screws that are on the top, let's see if I can do this without, kind of slide this down. I already took the screws out because I'm not going to bore you with screws. So this is already loose. So I'm going to slide this up. Okay. And this is the top. What I mean by top is this is where the tuning screws are at. So we're going to somehow, let's see if I can do this. Okay. Okay, we're going to take that off. Okay. And you'll see these little white insulators. They do come off, but don't lose them because that prevents the screw from touching the tubing. As you can also see, these, this case is not one whole piece. You see, the, you see the line right here? They're actually two separate aluminum cases. So be mindful of that. So I'm going to set this down. We're going to slide. I'm going to slide this up. We're going to slide this bottom off. I already took the screws out. Like I said, I don't want to bore you with taking screws out. So we're going to slide this off. Now I want to show you something here. It's kind of important. On the bottom, you do not need to take the middle row of screws out. And what I mean by that is, let's see if I can show you. probably not the best picture but maybe hold on hold on let's see if I can focus this okay you can kind of see it there these screws right here the middle row do not take out they hold the tubing in so I'm gonna set this right here okay you can see you can see the screws right here the middle row do not touch them only take off the top row the corner and then there is a slot down here where you can put your allen wrench screw in they're tight so you might have to you I had to use this type of allen wrench to get in here obviously but for in here for down here you can uh, use this type of allen wrench or if you got like the the, um, the screwdriver type with the three millimeter uh, allen wrench on there you can do that too so now we're going to prop this up. We're going to show you here. I'm going to kind of let's slide this down a little bit. So there's not a lot to this, as you can tell. They're aluminum tubes. Okay. And these three have the longer wire on them. Now, I would not advise touching these. They might be, you see, like one of mine here is kind of bent out. They might have done that for tuning reasons. But if you're having problems with your duplexer, you want to make sure that the solder connections are good here. If you've got a bad solder connection, that could give you a high SWR. Let's refocus that camera. There it goes. Okay. So, like right here, make sure these are soldered good. There's also, on this one, there's a solder on the side here, too. Um, now, the thing of it is, I don't, um, I think they're, I don't know if they're brass or aluminum. It looks like it's regular solder. That's what it looks like. I'd have to check here a little more in depth. I'm trying to see what type of tubing it is. If you got to use like like silver solder or something, I, I I don't think so. But I'd have to double check that. But there's also more solder connections here, as you can see, right here, and right here. So there's those you got to make sure. All it looks like, and then they also soldered the tubing, right here, to 
the case. And I'm going to try to see if I can pull. Let's pull one of these white insulators off and see if we can look down in there and see if that's that's aluminum or brass it might be I don't know what it is it might be uh it might be a brass with a coating on it I pulled one of those off kind of hard to see on camera I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might be like a brass with some type of coating on it I don't think it's going to require silver solder I don't think it don't look like it but pretty much what you're looking at is to make sure the solder joints, let me put this back, uh, the solder joints are decent down here. Um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit to give you guys a little better picture. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting really high tech here. Look at that. Hope you guys can see that. Let's do a focus. Like that. See how you can see the solder joints? Okay. So that's pretty much all that's inside this duplexer. Let me put this back out to zoom. Um, like I say, don't be careful not to bend the tubing or bend the, any of these wires. And of course, when you take the top off, let's set this here carefully. This top here is what has the tuning screws in it. Let's move, let's move this off to the side here so you guys can see this too. This is what has the tuning screws in it. You don't need to touch none of those. So don't don't touch none of the tuning screws. You'll get it out of tune. You leave those alone, but you can just pull these other screws out. Let's hold this up so you can see it better. You just pull those other screws out, but don't touch the tuning screws. Otherwise, you'll have to have it retuned. And unless you got a way of tuning it, you're going to be in trouble. Now, by doing this, I should not have disrupted my tuning. Although, it would be probably, you know, a good idea to have it rechecked. Um, but if you're careful on not bending none of this, it should not have interfered. As you don't bend none of these wires or the tubing or anything like that, it should not have it should not interfered. So, um, any rate, I'm, I'm kind of hoping this video is helpful. Maybe help you. You know, if you have a duplexer that's maybe you're having problems, high SWRs, I would check the solder connections in there, make sure they're good, make sure that these white uh, in this particular model duplexer, which you can see here on the sticker, this is the model that I have right there. You can see this little white, they, they do come off. So make sure that they're on there good. Uh, there ain't much to it, like I said, pretty much solder connections. Obviously, the tubes are connected to each other down here with this type of, uh, this is a coil. They, they bent this wire into a coil to give it a more tuning effect. So don't monkey with those, because like I said, these are bent to a certain diameter. The wires are the the circles a circuit certain diameter, and the wires a certain diameter to give you the, the coil that they uh, need for this particular uh, duplexer. But um, but yeah, that's how they connect them um, with this wire. And you can see if you look here, this one's got two, so they connected. Let's do this. See if I can do this. This one's got two. Co two coils hooked to it so they soldered both of them together to this one here that goes through a hole and it's soldered on the other side down here so yep pretty 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 simple concept so I hope this video is helpful um, and obviously you put it together it's pretty straightforward you just slide it back in like so. Try not to bump the tubing. Not to bump anything. Put your screws back in there. This obviously slides back inside there. And then you put your screws back. And uh, like I said, there's a ass load of screws. Um, but uh, three millimeter Allen wrench. That's what you need. 
fits tight on those screws. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas on what's inside of a duplexer. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you. And have a good day.